Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So many of you have asked me questions in Instagram as well as on LinkedIn uh, that Praveen, why are you not uploading the videos regularly? So I wanted to give a quick update for those uh, who don't know the actual reason. So guys, while playing the badminton, I got uh, my leg injured. So I got uh, two things there like a ligament uh, tear. Uh, as well as a micro fracture there and I am back home from Bangalore so I am taking rest so I thought I can make videos uh, also for you all so from po this point of time the videos will be regular on my channel so yes this is the most asked video uh, and uh, you all should understand how a DevOps engineer can build his resume and uh, how a person from other domain may you might be in testing you might be working as a SQL administrator or database administrator you might be working as a Java or front-end developer many of you have asked me questions Praveen how can I frame my resume as a DevOps engineer so my journey I when I was in Infosys for three years I was put as a tester for one year pure tester uh, I was put as a developer for uh, eight months almost where I have developed pure REST APIs, right? And uh, I'm glad that the code is also in the production right now. And uh, I was a DevOps engineer for almost 1.5 years. So I will be sharing my resume of uh, two and a half years back, how I got uh, the opportunity from Infosys to a product based organization that is Verizon. So you will be seeing all my details here. In the screen, right, I'll be making you walk through. Uh, ideally, this is an old resume because at that time, I'm not that much matured. But yeah, with this, you will get insights that how to change your domain into a DevOps and how to frame your projects, how you can convince the recruiter that you are a DevOps engineer, not by telling lie, but working on that actual grounds. So let's start the video. <laughs> So guys, uh, on the screen, you will be able to see that my resume is flashing, right? So you can see uh, this will be a typical general resume uh, where everyone uh, of DevOps engineer will have. But now you will have many uh, websites which is actually giving you the top notch quality uh, resumes. One is the NovaResume.com, which is absolutely good. You will get all your resume details there. It will help you to create one page resume for free. So I'll be giving that link in the description. Just check out. And uh, other one is uh, the resume worded.com, which will give you the resume, uh, what type of errors you have in your resume, maybe grammatical errors, maybe general errors. So all those things check out in the description, the links. So yes, let's get started into the video. So guys, uh, this is my resume where you can see my name, uh, phone number where I belong to and uh, you give your email right and LinkedIn profile is must the five star uh, mark here is you need to have your LinkedIn profile as I have told you I was very much immature and naive at that point of time maybe like two and a half year back in 2019 so you cannot see the LinkedIn uh, profile here but yeah please add your LinkedIn profile and if possible please add your uh, photograph also so objective as everyone mentions that is a general objective so I don't want to iterate over that so yes, experience summary, very much important. You can keep that professional summary or experience summary. Three years of experience, yes, at that point of time, three years of experience in DevOps and cloud technologies. As I have, I have told you, I was into DevOps, I was into testing, I was into Java. You will see how I have framed the uh, projects. But here you will find that I have only put DevOps and cloud technology because I wanted to make sure uh, I am going into DevOps because that was my uh, actual choice of field, right? So experience in implementing the CI CD pipeline for Java based applications at that point of time I have done. Uh, have hands on uh, experience in creating AWS in front. Yes, Infosys was the best company which has given me so many good opportunities. So it will also help you. Uh, experience in launching the application to Docker and EC2 instances. Good understanding in cloud formation scripts. Yes, you all must know now Terraform is very much important. So yes, those who are looking for DevOps Bootcamp too. So definitely comment down below. And also the part two of, of my actual resume, which has helped me to actually get selected uh, uh, my resume into various organizations like Walmart, Microsoft, Amazon, right, Google. So I'll be making my resume of 2021 as part two. So comment down whether you need my actual resume, uh, which has helped me to crack all those companies. And uh, this, this is the first resume. Anyways, I'm sharing with you all, right? So you will see all these things in the experience summary. You can put some good pointers also because uh, know where the 
Uh, the HR will have time to scroll down and read line by line. But yeah, you need to attract the people like you are catching uh, eye over your resume. So core competencies, yes, technologies which I have used, DevOps, AWS, Core Java. Yes, this is the one I have put in because I'm uh, good at working these things, uh, right? And you will see what are the DevOps tools, uh, right? What are the DevOps tools I have worked in Jenkins, Docker, Archiva. Uh, at that point of time, in place of JFrog, we were uh, having Archiva and uh, Windows, Linux, Java. Yes, programming language is also important a little bit databases i was mysql admin also at that point of time yes so i have put that now coming on to the professional experience you will see senior systems engineer from 2019 yes from infosys so yes this is where you all are uh, are eagerly waiting for project details so i'll be showing you how i have placed it so basically you will see project name domain project scope and the technologies used <clears throat> you will see uh, what technologies i have used it so first project is basically a DevOps project uh, where I have worked in. You can take out these projects and you can frame some pointers on top of this. So worked as a DevOps engineer and developing the infrastructure for Toyota Motor sales. Yes, so I was working into Toyota account. So you will be seeing all the SonarCube, Archiva, uh, uh, Bitbucket, Jira, AWS, right? So you will be seeing all the AWS things here and the DevOps things here. So as I've told you, the 1.5 years or some one year experience, I purely worked into Java. So this is what the Java project will look like for you. And now coming on to the text testing part. So see guys, I have put everything in a proper way. So you need to understand. So now in the project B, right, you will see domain is automobile only work nature is DevOps slash testing. So whenever you are putting your projects, make sure you are giving DevOps slash something may it be DevOps slash monitoring engineer, DevOps slash security engineer, DevOps slash testing engineer or DevOps slash Java engineer, which is my third project coming in. So in this, you will see I have mentioned what type of project I have worked in. So basically Toyota, you all know how uh, it, it supplies the parts, how uh, the data management system works, how the interfaces looks like, how the holdings for a particular dealer will be published into the portal. So all those things will be seen to you, right? And you will see how I have put in involved in creating the test cases. I have put in directly guys here. Nothing is, uh, is there, but yes, DevOps I have put in because in order to make sure that I have worked in DevOps also, it's not completely into testing, but you need to make sure that you put some tools on top of that because nowadays DevOps with quality engineer is also important for the organization. So you see uh, what tools I have put in Jenkins on YouTube, SOAP UI, yes, two, three tools of DevOps and remaining all tools of testing. So SOAP UI, BDD, Cucumber Framework, JMeter. So in this also I have worked in uh, designing the scripts. Uh, of soap so you need to understand how i have built this resume so i have put in three four tools into devops and uh, four five tools into your uh, testing so that when uh, some person asks me a question i am able to confidently answer that yes i have worked into devops i have worked into testing also so third project we will be moving into and this will be very very uh, beautiful project because uh, unknowingly i was given the uh, development project that is core java uh, which is very much difficult uh, for anyone to take up who doesn't have the uh, background experience of testing. So, but uh, initially two weeks was horrible, but still I was able to manage and I developed few REST APIs. And yes, I'm happy now. At least I know what is Spring Boot, how to design, how to develop the application and all those things. So definitely I would recommend if you are getting a chance, don't say no. So yes, you will see the third project here. Right, so the third project will be uh, again domain is automobile because I was completely into Toyota account and the work nature is DevOps engineer project scope. You will be able to see how I have put in. So basically, you will see again technology and tools Jenkins, AWS, Wiremock, Bitbucket, Jira. So here again, a small portion of DevOps I have put in. So in service based organization, as you all know, project to project it changes. So there is nowhere you can say no. If given a chance, you have to definitely work on that. So it is again a DevOps project. You can take some pointers from here also project number C. But yes, the main thing project number D I wanted to show you all again, Toyota USA automobile DevOps engineer slash Java developer. So again, we will see project scope working as a Java developer. So guys here you can see working as a Java developer. Uh, yes, on the project scope. So uh, for the advertisement application for Toyota Motor Sales. So I was working as a pure Java developer for the Toyota and you can see tools and technologies Jenkins, AWS, Java, Bitbucket, Jira, Docker. Yes, I have worked on this thing. So I have put in. So make sure always when you are changing your domain, make sure you are mixing both the scenario one and scenario two. Like you are learning DevOps now. You are good at domain one. So club both the things so that 
there is no point of failure chances are more right so you are able to understand what i am telling uh, right so in interview we should be able to crack with whatever we are keeping in the resume which is very much important and the responsibilities understanding the code part and working on the requirements given by the client in agile form uh, admin of admin of uh, dev qa stage mysql database yes as i have told you created rest apis and integrated with swagger and deployed through jenkins in ecs so all those things i was able to do at that point of time uh, yes so make sure you are making such kind of resumes if you are from other domain so always keep slash something domain one slash domain two which is very very much helpful for you all so yes educational profile i have removed that from the resume but yes you can keep whatever the educational profile you have and also you have to keep what kind of percentage you have got what is the university you have been uh, qualified right and finally declaration is not needed but again i am telling this was the three years back resume you can definitely check out the links in the resume and also those who have not seen the devops bootcamp sessions all the links are given in the description below so do check out and connect with me in platforms so that you know what is actually happening with devops and other technologies so with that said i hope my resume of infosys has given you uh, a very good detailed explanation how i have kept and how i have moved into devops right ideally i have worked into devops like 1.5 to 2 years but you can see how i have mentioned as three years of experience as senior systems engineer in infosys so with that said i hope this video was helpful to you all so make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and uh, let's meet in another video until then take care stay safe bye